What's up guys and welcome to the Freshman Experience. My name is Lily Reiko and I'm a freshman here at DePaul University and I'll be your host. I'm super excited to bring you along for my second semester of freshman year. In order to better understand my freshman experience, it's important to know just a little bit about me. I'm originally from Ocean City, Maryland and somehow ended up in the great state of Indiana. I'm an undeclared communications major and I'm involved in Greek life and of course, D3TV. It's my second semester here at DePaul so I don't have everything college related figured out but I'm super excited to share my experiences with you guys. Throughout watching, please keep in mind that these are just my experiences and not everybody who steps onto DePaul's campus has the same experience that I did. Everyone's experience is shaped through who they hang out with, what classes they take, and what they're involved in. So there's definitely so many different freshman experiences. Throughout the series, I will bring on different guests that will talk to you guys about different topics like the dining hall, activities you can get involved in and just college life in general. Throughout every show I'll have different segments that include things like college story of the week, highlights and lowlights, and a question and answer series. So moving on to my college story of the week, this week we're going to talk about the Humbert fire alarms. If you guys are DePaul students you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't go to DePaul then this will definitely be hopefully comical to you. If you guys aren't familiar with the concept of the Humbert fire alarms, basically the Humbert fire alarms go off at least two to three times a week due to popcorn, candles, like literally you could spray hairspray and the fire alarm will go off. This has definitely been a huge part of my freshman experience, even though it is negative. It's actually kind of comical. I think that the count now is in like the 50s, I wanna say, but yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Basically the fire alarm will go off for any possible thing. The other day it actually went off at seven in the morning. Everybody was pretty upset and I don't know if the people who set it off get in trouble or not because most of the time it's just completely on accident. Long story short, the Humbert fire alarms have definitely been a staple of my freshman experience. It was kind of funny at first, now it's getting kind of old. So if you're setting off the Humbert fire alarms, please stop because nobody likes to leave their bed at 7 a.m., especially if they don't have class until like noon. All right, guys, moving on to my highlights and lowlights of the week. When I have guests on the show, we'll kind of do like a group highlights and lowlights, but because it's just me for the first episode, we're just gonna do my highlights and lowlights. My highlight of the week is that I have a big in my sorority now. I don't know who she is yet because we actually just got assigned them. Like they know who we are, but we don't know who they are. If you guys aren't familiar with Greek life in general or Big Littles or any of that. Um, Greek life is definitely a big part of DePaul's campus. You don't have to be involved in Greek life, but a lot of people are. People who aren't involved in Greek life still have a great experience at DePaul, so there's nothing wrong with not being involved in Greek life, but it is a very Greek school. Basically, Big Little Week or the week before Big Little Week, I guess is what it is right now. Someone who's in the new member class above you will be assigned to you and kind of mentor you through the process of being in that sorority or fraternity. So on Monday, we actually preferenced our bigs. And then that night, we all got texts in the group chats that were like, we have littles, like, oh my gosh, super exciting. We don't know who the bigs are yet, but they know who we are. So next week, we get little gifts and like hints and everything. And the next Friday, we'll find out who our bigs are. It's basically just like this big, exciting process and something that's super exciting about being a new member in a sorority. Moving on to my low light of the week is basically just a whole college concept, but I just feel so behind in all of my classes. I can do all the work I want. Today I spent about four hours in a study room at Julian and still feel like I got absolutely nothing done. It's just kind of like this vicious cycle of having work, finishing it, and then looking at the syllabus and finding that you still have so, so, so much to do. That's definitely just a college thing and I feel like everybody struggles with time management. So my strategy is just get as much work done as you can that's due for the next day or the day after that. Just kind of get by. So moving on to the question and answer portion of the video. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me questions about my college experience. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it will be right here on the screen for you and you guys can go follow me and make sure that you guys don't miss any of my Instagram stories or opportunities to ask questions on the show. Also be sure to follow D3TV on Instagram and there will be more opportunities to ask me questions on there as well. So the first question is from Alyssa and she asks, what's been better so far, first or second semester? So we're only about four weeks into second semester so I really can't judge yet, but going by how well my first semester went, Hopefully second semester will be better. First semester, I had a really great time. Of course, that first month or so before I kind of got solid friends and was like okay with my classes and everything. Definitely the first month of freshman year is a big adjustment period, I think, for everybody. So that was kind of hard at first. But other than that, first semester was an absolutely amazing time. I met some of my best friends. I got decent grades, so that was really good. But everybody says that second semester is way better. So I'm looking forward to what the future has in store for me. Any advice for incoming freshmen next year? Come to DePauw. 
it's a really great school. Advice for college freshmen next year, I would say if you haven't picked your college yet, don't be stressed out. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram from back home who have picked their college, but I know that the deadline isn't until May 1st. So if you guys haven't picked your college yet, don't be stressed out. Definitely join the Facebook page or join the group me or the Snapchat group or whatever your new class has. It's definitely super important to start making relationships with your new classmates now because it's always nice to see a couple familiar faces when you get to campus. Can you tell us a brief history of DePaul? So I don't know a ton of history of DePaul. I'm kind of put on the spot right now. I don't know a ton of history of DePaul. My mom actually went here so I can tell you kind of a little bit of how it was in the 80s. Um, just kidding, no I can't. So DePaul was founded in 1837. DePaul was founded in 1837 originally as As Indiana Asbury College, is that right? No. Yes, nailed it. DePaul is home to two alpha chapters of sororities, Kappa Alpha Theta and Alpha Chi, which is my sorority. DePaul's colors are black and old gold. Our mascot is the tiger and um, you guys should come here because it's a really great school. So that was my brief history of DePaul. I wanna apologize to anyone who knows a lot about DePaul and who's watching this and cringing right now because I am sorry, I'm just a freshman. What are using communal bathrooms like? Using communal bathrooms is definitely an interesting experience. I personally, I'm okay with it. You just gotta use your shower shoes. The communal bathrooms in my building are some of the nicer ones, I would say. There's kind of, when you go to shower, there's like a double curtain situation. So, you know, it's there's a lot of privacy. Um, there are showers in other buildings that aren't doing too well. Some have molds, some have bugs that come out of the drain, lots of hair. I feel like it definitely just depends on what building you get into. Overall, communal bathrooms, not that bad. And the nice thing about communal bathrooms is that there's someone else who cleans them for you. And I truly, truly appreciate the ladies who come and clean our bathroom every day because if it wasn't for you guys, the bathrooms would be super nasty, so thank you. What's the best thing about being at a small school? I think the best thing about being at a small school is just walking through campus. It's impossible not to pass at least one person that you know. Um, the other day I was walking back to my room from class and I think I passed like six or seven people that I knew, so that was pretty cool. It's just like, hey guys, what's up, hey. But yeah, definitely being at a small school, the professors actually care about you, which is nice. You're not just a number. That's something that really drew me to DePaul for sure. How do you balance school and a social life? If I'm being honest with you guys, you kind of just have to sacrifice one or the other. Yes, I like to have my fun and hang out with my friends and do all that stuff, but school definitely comes first for me. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I spent about four, four and a half hours today just sitting in an academic building doing homework. Um, not talking to anybody. I was in a study room downstairs in the basement and I just hung out with myself, did my homework for four and a half hours. But then tonight I'm going to go out to dinner with a couple of friends. So that's kind of like the balance that you kind of have to find between your schoolwork and your social life. So guys, that's going to be about it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share if you're on Facebook and be sure to subscribe to D3TV for more videos just like this. The next episode of the Freshman Experience is going to be all about dorm living and dining halls. So be sure to submit your questions in the comments down below or at D3TV DePaul on Instagram. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Lily Rako and subscribe to me on YouTube also at Lily Rako. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. That's why I saw people's Snapchat stories, yeah. I feel like administration's not gonna like that I'm outing them for the fire alarms, but is it not safe to give away where I live? I'll be fine, you have to have a key card to get in. Any more fun facts about DePaul? I get some weird questions. There was this one, it was a comment on a video, but it was like, um, please do a video of you revving, in, revving a car engine in ballet flats. I would really enjoy this. Yeah, weird. Okay. Um, when was, do you know when DePaul was founded? 88 or something, I think. I don't know. Is Larry in there? Do you know when DePaul was founded? <laughs> oh, he says look it up. <laughs> I won't say that, Larry. Don't worry. <laughs>